I'm surprised that they're blasting out ads showing such bold claims. Two times more mass. Like, what the f From what? Fat? From the f***ing dextrose you're shoving down my throat? <laughs> Upper arm girth over 200% more than standard creatine. Seven times bench press performance. That's what I need, bro. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoreadates.com. Today we are going to be, uh, <laughs> by the way, forgive the uh, background, the shitty audio with the echoing. I am in a temporary new filming location right now. Temporary, but uh, yeah, so just bear with me. So anyways, today we're doing a video on a uh, special type of creatine that a shit ton of you tag me in. This is the myositin creatine. So this shit has been inundating some of our social media feeds on Instagram with their absurd claims, claiming gain up to two times more mass than standard creatine, increase upper arm girth over 200% more than standard creatine. Independent scientific research has shown myositin to be superior to standard creatine. Research proven to increase performance, seven times bench press performance, more than standard creatine. Is that even a fucking sentence? Rogerson and coworkers in 2003, in only six days, guys. So our most asked for product return in 21 years is back. So of course it was such a profitable product. Why the fuck would I have discontinued it for 21 years? We just decided to bring it back randomly, you know? Myositin results were proven in independent scientific research with a DNA helix, bro. In case you didn't know if they were serious. 200% upper arm girth increase, check. Seven times bench press increase in performance. Also check. So anyways, this is uh, their trailer on YouTube for their um, kind of like the same claims, but anyways, I'll play it through for you guys. So as you can see, the claim is clearly here as well. Upper arm girth over 200% more than standard creatine. So basically saying we're gonna gain like triple the fucking arm size if we take this shit over normal creatine monohydrate. Assuming that's what they mean by standard creatine, but at, based on their clinical research, that's what it appears the relative comparison benchmark is. Because we all know these guys will use like weird word fuckery and semantics to kind of like get around their weird claims. So seven times bench press performance, but this is the same fucking typo here too. Seven times bench press performance, more than standard creatine. Like what does that even mean? Seven times more, seven times better, Seven times the fucking weight increases? Like what, dude? Gain up to two times more mass than standard creatine. So one thing to note is look how big this scoop is. So this isn't just your normal run-of-the-mill creatine monohydrate. No, this is myositin with some extra goodies, which we will get into soon. Research proven. Like, I wonder if the athletes are like, wow, like fuck this shit when they see this and they're like, if they actually give a fuck if the product works or if they're just doing it straight up for a paycheck. Like, you know you're gonna be the face of this brand. Like, come on, I don't, I don't get, why people don't look into it a bit more. Like this, this is marketing at its finest. It almost reminds me of like 90s, early 2000s marketing brought into literally 2021. So here, this was a review by Stacked dot com about the uh resurgence of this stuff um and they basically talk about the original formula features creatine based formula although as you could probably tell by looking at the tub it's 1.2 kilograms so there's more to it than that it combines creatine with taurine carbohydrates minerals and glycine to improve the transport and uptake of creatine because we all know that creatine monohydrate fucking sucks and doesn't work so you need to do all this special shit according to the uh to body science the formula behind Myos myositin has proven to improve bench press performance seven times more than standard creatine. Unfortunately, we can't, can't find the facts panel, the exact list of ingredients or dosages in myositin with the brand's online store only featuring images of the product unlike most of its other items. Huh, so we have reached out to them for the details but have not heard back. We can confirm it has a heavy size. 1.2 kilograms provides 30 servings, meaning each one weighs in at 40 grams. Cost 
So anyways, let's go through their website a bit. We see uh, independent scientific research has shown myositin to be superior to standard creatine. Again, Rogerson and coworkers, 2003. The infamous Rogerson and coworkers study from 2003. How could we forget? Um, so they have some interesting shit, of course. You know, they're super intense research findings. So here's the infamous research paper. So in here, they basically compare it flat out against monohydrate comparison to monohydrate with dextrose, taurine, glycine, magnesium, chelate, and electrolytes added. So would any of this shit justify increasing your bench press performance by this much more and or your arm size by this much more? No, dude. Like, it makes no fucking sense. We have a bit of sugar. We have some taurine, which, by the way, is a good supplement. I use it. It's fine. L-glycine, again, something I have every day in my diet. Magnesium, chelate, and electrolytes. Again, something I have in my diet, obviously chelated form, no, but I get that through a multivitamin. As you probably know by now, if you really wanted to, if you really had a strong motivation, you could probably tweak a study to say whatever the fuck you want, realistically. Like here, they basically go through and show how myositin is superior to creatine monohydrate at facilitating gains in selected performance in anthropometric measures. Wow, that is fancy. These findings are in line with previous research on similar commercial creatine formulations. Together, these studies indicate that the ergogenic and physiological effects of pure creatine can be further enhanced via the addition of specific nutrients. So go figure if you add a fucking, I don't know, vitamin anything to your diet and you're not getting enough, you know, could you perhaps improve certain performance metrics? Maybe, you know, that's certainly possible. If you're zinc deficient, let's say you add some zinc. Is that going to help you? Fuck yeah, obviously. However, this screams of deja vu cell tech days to me. When you look at the actual product, you can see what its actual supplement facts panel looks like. We can see quite clearly it's $60 for this product. So you'd think, okay, this has got to be a pretty expensive thing. But rather, instead, what we see is some cell tech ass shit from what I can tell. This is something that is creatine with some random shit added and flavored to make it seem like it's some special version that is justifying the $60 price tag. So we have dextrose monohydrate, creatine, antioxidant citric acid, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, sodium chloride, potassium chloride, glycine, natural flavors, blah, blah, blah. So look at the actual dosages though. So we have 40 servings or 30 servings, sorry, uh, 40 grams per serving. Then we have the sodium. We actually have the minerals at dosages that realistically are not hitting your RDAs anyways. Looking at the amino acids, the main thing we're here for, the creatine, three grams. So three grams per 40 gram serving size. So even the saturation, it's not even hitting the saturation dose with one serving. Like you could say, okay, three grams for some people may be sufficient. You know, five grams, cheap as fuck. Put in five grams per scoop, dude. Like, come on. Glycine, one and a half grams. So you're telling me I'm getting less glycine than I would get from a scoop of, I don't know, like Great Lakes hydrolyzed collagen or something. Like it's you know, this is not a lot of glycine whatsoever either. Taurine, 60, 60 milligrams, bro. Like, why is this even in here at this point? It's just to show that it's on the label? Like, this is not actually yielding any kind of effect at this dosage. Like, I, I take taurine separately in capsules. I believe they're 500 milligrams each. And I take like, I take like two to three or four grams of taurine per day. Like, what, what the fuck am I doing with 60 milligrams in this crete, in this... <laughs> Cell tech motherfucking product. This is all I'm seeing, dude. It's just cell tech all over again. Myositin creatine was created to improve creatine supplementation and its benefits. Combination of creatine, no taurine essentially, some sugar, a subpar amount of minerals, and a tad bit of glycine creates a powerful creatine transportation system that increases the uptake of creatine by the muscles and enhances results. Formula was first created 18 years ago, but it's been... <laughs> 18 years ago, but it's been, it was so good and highly sought after due to public demand. We're bringing it back. Like so many people were hounding us for this shit. We were like, oh my God, just fuck off. Fine. We will sell it. It's that good. We didn't want to do it, but we're going to do it for you guys. Cause you've been begging us for motherfucking 18 years, 18 years. We've been asking guys and they finally delivered. So anyways, what do I think about this shit? I think it is just a literal cell tech reincarnation. I don't remember what cell tech was exactly, but if I recall correctly, it was creatine plus a bunch of sugar, and that's pretty much it. And that is basically what we're looking at in this product. There is nothing novel about it. There's nothing crazy. Like you have a bit of glycine in there, a tad bit of minerals, subpar amount of taurine, 
even a subpar amount of the fucking main thing that's supposed to be in there, creatine itself. So no, I do not think this is a good product and I'm surprised that they're blasting out ads showing such bold claims, two times more mass. Like what the fuck? From what, fat? From the fucking dextrose you're shoving down my throat? <laughs> Upper arm girth over 200% more than standard creatine. Seven times bench press performance. That's what I need, bro. I need this shit. In only six days, Rogerson and coworkers have found the fucking secret to gains, bro. And it is adding 60 milligrams of taurine to your three grams of creatine. That is definitely it. Anyways, a lot of you guys tagged me in this over the past few weeks. It's been on my to-do list. What do I think in general? I think it is a marketing ploy that gives me deja vu to like 15 years ago. So... And to be honest, I guess 15 years ago, I wasn't even looking at this shit. So maybe it was more like 10 years ago or something. But anyways, that is what it reminds me of. It reminds me literally of Celtech. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you been hit with this, this ad claiming such bold claims? What do you think about the formula itself? And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All the comments help the algorithm. Much appreciated. Like, subscribe. Check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram. I'm moreplatesmoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, Bitchu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.